Hey, it's uh, Matt here from Digital Matter, uh, just walking you through how to change uh, settings on our battery powered devices, which are the Oyster 2, the Remora 2, and the uh, Yabby GPS and Wi Fi. Uh, so, just to kick off, uh, we do have a few other guides around, a full complete guide for OEM uh, and details on how all our tracking words, modes work here on our support page, support.digitalmatter.com. For example, here's the overview of operations. Uh, which covers the modes I'm going to talk about here uh, but just to get you quick up to speed uh, just to change the settings really quickly when you're getting going out of the devices uh, we just log into our OEM server account if we've forgotten the password you can use this forgot password uh, we've got oemserver.com is where we need to go uh, speak to us at support if you uh, don't have a login so we'll just log in Okay, then we're taken to our list of devices. Okay, and to get at any device, I want to just check my Oyster 2. Okay, and if I just enter nothing here, it will take me to all of them. Okay, and uh, all our devices use accelerometers and GPS to adaptively change how they track. So when they're on the move, they will update more often uh, based on the default settings. Um, and the way the Oyster 2 and Remora 2 do this by default is when they first move the accelerometer will wake the unit up and then it will keep checking GPS every couple of minutes just to see if it's actually moved more than 250 meters away from the start point. It's all configurable but gives you an idea that it's actually require, requiring some actual you know, distance to be traveled and GPS movement. Okay, and the defaults are when it's sitting still, it will heartbeat every 12 hours. And then when it starts moving, it will, it will upload. And then it will start logging a position every two minutes. And then every 30 minutes, it will send a batch of those uploads all up. And that will keep going until the end of the trip, where it will do another upload and then go back to sleep, back to the 12 hour reporting. But to change all that, we just edit parameters in here. So we've ticked the box, parameters, edit system parameters. Okay, this shows that we're all on defaults because there's no tabs here. So what we need to add is basic tracking okay, and advanced tracking at the key ones. Okay, so we're in our GPS mode. Will we go into trip based on GPS movement? We can see heartbeat, 12 hours. Okay, logging every two minutes, 120 seconds and uploading every 30 minutes. So if we want to change to a once daily heartbeat uh, and we want to log every 10 minutes and upload every hour, that's all doable straight there. Okay, another thing we might want to do is change into periodic mode, which is why we've got the advanced tracking. So we just change that to here. And periodic tracking is we don't care about movement, we just want to upload four times a day, once a day, uh, whatever we may choose. And now that we've got this selected, therefore the only parameter that really matters here is this heartbeat. So if I want four hourly heartbeats, that's how I do it there. So 240 minutes is four hours. I'm tracking periodically. Okay, yeah, put that back to 720 though. Finally, the other mode we have, I'll turn this back off again, is jostle based tracking. And this is where rather than actually checking the GPS as well, uh, all we do to go into trip is uh, the device just looks at accelerometer activity. And that's really useful if we're on a, you know, vibrating on a pump or doing tiny trips around the yard, we'll still go into to trip. Uh, so once we've done that, this all applies again. So what this means now is if I'm sitting still every 12 hours update, okay, if we get some accelerometer activity, as in some vibration, I don't actually have to move I'll start logging position every 10 minutes and uploading this uh, every hour. So that's the Oyster. Okay, the Yabby is very slightly different. I'll come across to Yabby here. Okay, the thing about the Yabby is uh, it doesn't have as much battery life, so we don't want to drive it as hard. Okay, and the parameters that we care about here are basic tracking and movement detection. Okay, so here we go, we have a heartbeat every uh, 12 hours. Okay, and under the movement detection, when movement is detected, 
we start uh, uploading differently and logging differently. Now we're effectively always in jostle mode, it's only accelerometer movement we care about on the Yabby, not GPS. So we can see when these are zero, we're actually not going to log or do anything in trip, we're just going to do start and end of movement. So if I wanted to get a position every 30 minutes in trip and upload it every hour, I'd just do that. Okay, and then for the Yabby, changing to periodic mode is a bit more obvious in that it's straight on this basic, tra basic tracking tab. So I just go yes here if I wanted six hourly updates. Okay, and then because I'm in periodic tracking, none of this really matters anymore because the device only cares about doing heartbeat uploads. Okay, so I can update that. Okay, and if, if, I've, if I'm happy with that and I've set my four hour updates, I can put it on all the other devices. So parameters, create a parameter template. Okay, I can save it here. Okay, just give it a name, and then once I come back, I apply it. Again, that's covered in the OEM Getting Started Guide.